At the beginning of the 1800s, there were an estimated 100 million buffalo roaming across the Great Plains of America through Nebraska, North, South Dakota, Kansas. Now these enormous herds would just roam and move, uh, finding different grazing grounds and so on. And yet by the end of the 1800s, the buffalo had been driven almost to total extinction. Now what happened? The Native Americans, when they killed the buffalo, they would eat everything. They would put used to the bones, the hide, the skin, the internal organs. Essentially, they would use everything they killed. But buffalo hunters came along and there was a very, very lucrative market for buffalo hides. So they would start systematically shooting and killing every buffalo they came to. They drove the buffalo to extinction or almost extinction by the end of the century. They skinned the buffalo and left close to a hundred million buffalo laying on the Great Plains to rot. So you had a hundred million bones of buffaloes laying there. Not a single buffalo fossil formed. A hundred million huge animals died. Not a single fossil formed. You know, when a tree dies in a forest, it doesn't turn into a fossil. When a fish dies in the ocean, it doesn't turn into a fossil. When all of these great animals died, they didn't turn into fossils. And yet the rock layers of the earth are filled with trillions of fossils. Something very different happened in the past than we see happening here in the present. To form a fossil, whatever dies has to be buried very rapidly so predators don't eat it, has to be buried very deeply so even fungus and organisms don't destroy it. Uh, you have to exclude oxygen and you have to have minerals permeating down through those sediment layers that replace even the bones with minerals over a very rapid period of time or no fossil will form. What I am describing is Noah's flood. When you leave the flood out of your thinking, you misinterpret the rocks, you misinterpret the fossils, you misinterpret the entire past history of our planet but only because you've left out what God has revealed to us in the Bible is an actual factual event of history. That's why fossils aren't forming today, and yet the rock layers are filled with them because those rock layers formed rapidly and recently, filled with the dead animals that were buried during the flood of Noah.